Good evening everybody, how you doing? Back again for yet another video. <laughs> Before I get started, I just want to say a couple of real quick things. First of all, very sorry about the, the weird noise going on on the last video. I don't quite know what was going on there. Not the weird, almost whooshing, crackling sort of sound going on. I have no idea what was going on there. Um, I wonder if it's some sort of weird reverb type of thing. But I didn't even check the video until after I'd already uploaded it. So I apologise for that. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that was a bit random. I didn't know what was going on there. And um, secondly, just in case you're wondering why I'm doing the third video in about three days, it's because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have time to upload a video this coming weekend. I'm actually going away for a couple of days, and I probably won't have time to sit down and record anything. So I figure I'll, I'll just I'll just churn out something else quickly. <laughs> so just so. Um, yeah, just to apologise in advance for that. So yeah, anyway. What I wanted to talk about as um the video the, the title of the video probably gives it away. I did something a little bit silly. <laughs> I went to work um yesterday. The video I recorded yes uh, uploaded yesterday I actually recorded there before. And um I'm now recording this on what day is it? Wednesday. No, it's Thursday day. I am a complete model, I apologise again. <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of those videos again, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's it's Thursday night now. The other video I recorded yesterday, which I uploaded today, I think. I don't know, whatever. There, anyway, I'm, probably rec I'm probably uploading this Friday night. So yeah. Let's say, the, um, the reason I've uploaded three in three days now, or, or basically three in three days, is just because I'm... 99% certain I'm not going to have time to record a proper video this weekend just because I'm not about so um yeah but anyway yeah like that as the um as the title of the video probably says I did something rather silly I went to work yesterday and I forgot to put my conch plugs back in I every day when I shower I take them out in the showers to give everything a good clean and I left them in the shower the whole day and um yeah, it, I, I just completely forgot about it until I got home and I saw them on the floor. And I was like, oh, they're supposed to be in my ears. So never mind. But I um, I popped them back in again. This one went in perfectly fine, the big one. Because, like I've mentioned before, I think this has been at this size. Must be the best part of the year now. Yeah, this is well and truly settled in at this size. This one is a little bit of a pinch and it is quite tender now, which is a pain. Because anyone who has any experience stretching cartilage in your ears, it's not particularly pleasant. <laughs> so yeah, that will um, will probably be tender for a few days, and it'll probably probably swell up a little bit. And yeah, it's just not nice when I poke it. So for that reason, I'm gonna stop poking. <laughs> but yeah, that actually um, sorry, it was in my belly. So yeah, that actually um actually works quite nicely into something else that I actually get asked quite a bit. It's probably one of the things I get asked more frequently than other things. Oh, sorry, excuse me. I'm very tired, I apologize. And um, probably one of the things I get asked a lot more frequently than anything else, really, or at least it's up there in the top few, is about people uh, trying to leave their ears out, like overnight, for example. A lot of people who try to stretch to a fairly large size off, often realise it gets to a point where it's just too uncomfortable to sleep with them in overnight. And um, a lot of people try... First of all, the people get a little bit nervous about leaving them out for so long when it's not something they're used to doing. And um, they, they, they get a bit worried and they have trouble putting them back in in the mornings. And I get, like I said, a surprising number of people actually ask for a little bit of advice on what to do in that situation. So I figured I could share what I personally did, and it's something I know other people that I, um, other people I've spoken to have done the same thing, other friends of mine have done the same thing, and it always seems to have reasonably good results. So, um, basically what I did, when I got to the point where I, where I thought I would start to need to leave them out for long periods of time, like overnight, for example, um, rather than straight away leaving them out 
for half a day at a time, I would um, I would start off literally by leaving them out for maybe an hour a day for a, for a week, and then the following week maybe an hour and a half, or or maybe not even a week, maybe sort of four or five days, and then slowly build it up over time. So you're slowly leaving them out slightly longer, slightly longer, slightly longer each time. It 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 sort of trains your ears almost to stay open a bit longer when there's nothing in them which is um obviously that's really beneficial when you get to this sort of size or not even necessarily this sort of size but just where whenever you get to a point where it is too uncomfortable to sleep with them in but yeah sort of slowly building up like that over the over a course of say it can take several weeks or even a couple of months and everyone's ears react differently sometimes they need to be eased into it slower. Some people seem to get away with it a lot quicker. So everybody's body's a little bit different. But yeah, that's basically um, basically the easiest way, at least the easiest way that I'm aware of, of being able to leave them out for longer periods of time without doing any damage when you then go to put them back in. I mean, at this point I can leave my... It, it, it partly helps that they used to be quite a bit bigger than this anyway. But I can now leave my loaves out for two or three days at a time without them shrinking at all, which is really handy. Not that I ever really do that, but it's, it's a handy thing just in case. But yeah, something else to remember, when you do first start doing this, when you then, when you say you've had them out for a couple of hours or overnight or whatever, when you go to put them back in, it's very important to um, to warm the tissue up. Don't just grab your, your plugs or your tunnels and jam them straight back in again because that's just asking for an accident to happen. Um, what I've always found and what I would recommend, if you can have something like a shower, time it around that because it helps to soften the tissue up and just loosen it all off and um, and just generally makes the skin more malleable and a little bit more, more flexible. And that helps to start with. And the next thing would be to use some sort of oil I mean, I use I use bio oil. I think most people these days just use a generic vitamin E oil. It works perfectly the same, just to help again, just to get the blood flowing, to soften the tissue up, and get it used to being pulled about and tugged about a little bit again. Plus, obviously, the oil helps to lubricate it a little bit, so you can put the jewelry back in easier without quite so much trauma to the tissue, which is the that's the main thing what you want to avoid. Obviously, doing any damage to the tissue <laughs> and to your skin. And um, and yeah, the last thing, if you do have any trouble getting the same size back in, don't be afraid just to put maybe a size smaller or a couple of sizes smaller in to start with. You'll soon find that just by wearing something in your ear, even if it isn't as big as usual, just just the weight of wearing something in your ear will help and will help to loosen it off, and you will find you'll be able to get the larger size back in after a little while of just having something else in your ear. But the important thing again is just not to rush it, not to force it. Otherwise you do run the risk of um, some sort of minor injury, be it a little tear or or of making your ears swell up just through, irrita through irritation or whatever it might be. So hopefully that'll help a few people. Like I say, it's something, it's probably, it's right up there with the top things that I regularly get asked. So hopefully that'll help a few people out a little bit. And um, yeah, hopefully it'll help you all keep your ears a little bit happier and maybe be able to sleep a little bit more comfortable at night when you get to the point where you can leave them out overnight. So cause yeah, I know there's nothing worse than falling asleep with your earrings in and not realizing it. And uh, yeah, wake, waking up with them all smashed into the side of your head or or your loads themselves are swollen up because you've nipped them in the night or something daft like that. It happens. It's not ideal. It does happen. <laughs> and funny enough, literally a couple of days ago, or must have been the end of last week now, I was so tired after work, I just fell straight asleep in the other room with my ears in. And I was leaning on one side. And when I'd woken up, the whole ear was red and puffy because I didn't sleep or I'd fallen asleep and been putting pressure on it. So these th the silly little things like that do happen, but the main idea is the main thing is just not to panic, not to freak out, and just just think sensibly. Just give it a chance to calm down, provided it's not too puffy and swollen up. Rub a little bit of oil in it and whatnot. 
And um, yeah, I say hopefully this will actually help somebody. And um, yeah, I think that's about what I want to say. I say I probably won't have a chance to record anything over this weekend, which is a shame. Which is why I thought I'd put a little bit more effort into this video. I will, I say, I'll probably be Friday night, Friday night time that I load, upload this just to space things out a little bit. And I am going to watch this video back very quickly <laughs> to make sure there's no weird buzzing sounds or whatever on earth is going on with the last one. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I have um, alcohol free beer here. I've quite got into these lately. I will finish this off and then I have to go to bed because I have, I think it's about half nine, which is already later than I'd normally like to stay up on a work night. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I hope that helped you all. Or, hmm, nice area, everyone. But I hope that helped somebody. And I'll speak to you again soon. Ta for now. Have a good night. Goodbye.